Hi, it's Mountain Goat. This is Hip Bone. And today we are going to talk about a hammock that we just been constructing for a friend of ours. And uh, give you a look at what we did and some of the features of the hammock. The finished hammock is 9 foot 6 inches long and it has a ridgeline ridge line length of 94 inches. Um, the total weight for everything is 9.5 ounces or 268 grams. And what that includes is the hammock, the bug net, the bug net bishop bag, the whoopee slings, and the stuff sack. But here it goes. This is the ball end of the hammock, and we just sewed a channel right here at the end of the hammock, and then there's actually a zip tie in that channel, which creates the ball end of the hammock. And then the suspension, the whoopee sling, is interlocked with the ridge line of the hammock and that actually cinches down and forms the end and the whipping around the end of the hammock. One of the things that we've done is we actually use the hammock stuff sack which is made out of sil nylon and we just sew, sewed in these loops here in the seam and then we put these um, mitten hooks on here attached to these prussic knots and what that allows you to have is like a little ridge line organizer and um, you can put your you know your flashlight or your phone fits perfectly in here but it's a great double usage of your uh, hammock stuff sack
This is a hammock that we just finished constructing for a friend of ours. Um, she's a relatively small person and trying to drop weight in her backpack and so we've made a nine foot six hammock with a bug bivy. It's made of 1.0 Hyper D nylon from Ripstop by the Roll and the bug net is made out of the 0.55 nano sedum also from Ripstop by the Roll. With the bug net there's also a built-in bishop bag that you can stow your bug net away when you don't really need it um, and that is also made out of the 1.0 Hyper D. The ridgeline length is 93.8 inches so just under 94 inches and the ridgeline length of the bug net is 103 inches so it's about 9 inches larger than the hammock Here's the bug net stuff sack right here. As you can see, it's like a bishop bag. And so there's, it opens on both ends, but you pretty much always keep this enclosed. And you can just stuff the bug net into the bishop bag and stow it away. On the open end of the bug net, from the cord lock, up to the top, you can see that it's wide open and this actually snaps around your back very tightly especially when you have your underquilt on On the end here that closes up at the head end of the hammock, we're closing the bug net using a simple overhand knot wrapping around a little bit of this mason line. And it's super lightweight. Uh, the original width of the bug net is actually 63 inches. And because this is a little bit shorter hammock, this is nine foot six, so that meant that we didn't have to have any seams. We could just use the full width of the nano seam, and we didn't have to have a seam across the ridge line of the hammock for this bug net. We just basically folded it over. So this time around, when we were making this bug net, we added this extra reinforcement using the same fabric as the hammock and we just basically spread out the pole a little bit on the fabric itself. Um, when we stitched it up last time right directly to the gurgrain, it um, over time it started to pull away a little bit and you could see that it was starting to tear. So adding this extra bit of reinforcement it's kind of distributing the amount of pull on the nanoseum and I think this will be a lot longer lasting
one thing you can do is pull the bishop bag down over the ball of the hammock and then tighten the end of the bishop bag and what this does is it secures it from sliding up and down your whoopee sling which can be kind of annoying when you're trying to pack your hammock away but what this does is it just kind of locks it on to the end and it makes it really easy to stuff into your stuff sack. add to our hammock stuff sacks is this exterior pocket and what that allows you to do is stow your hammock suspension outside of where your main storage area is for your hammock so if they're wet or anything like that you're kind of protecting your hammock a little bit more all weight of this hammock including the suspension and the stuff sack and the bug net and the bug net bishop bag is 9.5 ounces it can squeeze up pretty small um, we just so happen to just make a little bit larger stuff sack but as you can see it can squish up pretty small if you have any questions about the hammock, how we made it, or anything about the construction, uh, just leave a comment in the comment section below, and we will try to answer it as best we can. Thanks. Thanks.